Hello again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. I'm going to give an update now on U.S. housing starts and use my lumber price data as an indicator of what to expect for the housing starts for the rest of this year. And so people usually look at the data month by month, and that is seasonally adjusted annualized data compared to the previous month. We look at the same month the previous year. But what I'm able to do now, because the data has come out for the first half of 2024, we have June update, and that gives us enough information to compare to last year using the housing starts and the lumber prices to start to get an idea of what's going to happen for the rest of this year. For the single family, which is the most important for the lumber industry, uh, single family starts were down in June compared to May, but were up compared to June of 2023. And again, within a 5% change. So again, quite stable. Uh, and then single family permits, again, were the same as the starts, okay? So there's starting to be some consistency there. There's starting to be some ability to analyze the data and have an objective view of where is the market and where could it potentially be going. Everybody looks at all of the usual macroeconomic conditions like interest rates, GDP, you know, demographic for the Canadians, the exchange rate, stuff like that. But here we're going to show you the housing start versus the lumber prices and make our estimation. Okay. So as always, Madison's looks at all the data. And like I said at the beginning here, month over month and year over year, that tells us a lot. But because we now have first half of 2024, what I did was I went and looked at not seasonally adjusted, not annualized, but actual, because you can see that in the press release. And when you look at the actual data, the single family housing starts are up from January to June, 16% compared to the same time last year. So the first six months of 2024, housing starts are up, okay? And permits for single family again are up 13% year to date. So that's quite an increase considering how slow things have been for the past couple of years. And does suggest like a shift away from where we were at that big slowdown when interest rates started going up in the middle of 2022 and maybe seeing where the market is and what the housing consumer is able to do. Okay. Um, so as well, housing completions are finally catching up because there, people know that it was a, the um, backlog of homes started but not completed or homes not yet started was much longer than traditionally was the case. And this is now catching up. So housing completions are starting to become a normal amount of time frame of what we're used to prior, like 2019 and prior. And as well, the uh, homes under construction uh, are dropping, like the ratio of the homes that are under construction are dropping. So it lets us think that there's a maturity coming to this new marketplace that we're going to be in for housing and for lumber. So let's look at some graphs and I'll explain in further detail and you will be able to visualize by seeing the data presented to you. So here we have the latest update which came out in July for uh, June of 2024. The top line, the purple line is total housing starts and the green line is single family. Single family is most important to the lumber industry because it is, first of all, it's the largest segment of home building and secondly, it uses the most wood. Then the uh, line below that, the blue line, is the Madison's Lumber Prices Index. And as you can see, that blue line stretches further along because my lumber prices come out every week for that week while the housing starts comes out once a month for the previous month. And so the total starts you can see there during this year really waffling up and down month over month. And that was largely 
multifamily starts. Now, multifamily, there is a lot of investor involvement. It's a commercial, uh, it's a commercial activity as opposed to single family, which there are speculators, but generally speaking, it's real people buying real homes to live in. And so there was one month where multifamily starts uh, went up and down by 50%. So that throws off or sort of makes the line for the total starts quite dynamic. And so for June, total housing starts were up 3% from May, but were down 4% from June of 2023. And permits were approximately the same for total. Single family starts in June were down 2% from May, but were up 5% from June of 2023. And this is what I mean by we're starting to see some stability from all of that volatility that we had uh, from, you know, 2020, 2021, and making things really not the way that they had been in the past. So everybody looking for insight, seeing into the history, couldn't really get very much understanding until I think now where we're starting to be able to look forward. And so drilling down into some detail, here we have once again the single family starts is the purple line waffling up and down there, and then permits, the orange line. Now, a building permit is usually submitted two months before the uh, project starts. And not every single permit becomes a start, but it really is a good leading indicator, letting you know within a couple of months that there will be some breaking ground on a new home. And then that blue line now, the Madison's Lumber Price Index for the week ending June 21st was down 6% from May and was down 11% from June of 2023. And like I said, you can see that that blue line now into July is ticking downward does that mean that the July housing starts will be downward? We'll find out soon enough. Then, as I was saying about the housing completions, and so a lot of the issue with the housing, it wasn't even about what is the house price or what are people willing to pay or what are interest rates. It was the backlog was due to, first of all, the inability of builders to find new lots to build on. And secondly, well, three things. Secondly was materials, specifically lumber, but other things like countertops and toilets were very hard to uh, get for the past couple of years. And then the third thing was trades. And uh, the workers aging out, people retiring and not enough new younger people coming in, which I think is also turning around. So overall housing completions for June of 2024 were up 10%. And this is the highest rate that we've had since 2007. Okay. And so the lumber price, the reason that I say the prices are a forward indicator of what will come for housing is because my lumber price data comes out every week for that week. And the housing starts data comes out once a month for the previous month, so basically six week lag. So when something happens with lumber prices now, I can tell you now what's gonna show up in the housing starts in a month and a half, okay? So if you like what you see here, click like, so this video will be recommended to other viewers. Click subscribe here on YouTube, so you'll be notified when we make another update. If you need to know more, in the caption is a link. You can order a sample. Request a sample of the full 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track every week and what the price is for that week and the commentary explaining why that price changed. And this all goes into my dashboard, which my customers log into every week so they know what's happening on time rather than waiting until I make an update on the website or do a YouTube. So that's all for now. I'm gonna make some more videos uh, into the middle of August because this is a developing situation and we are now able to provide more of a real update uh, compared to how things were in the spring when nobody, even the sawmills, didn't know what was going on.